Do you like beans on your toast? I can see that thought inside your head You like some beans on top of bread It's time to do a new video I've tidied the lounge especially I've got my favourite bean eating jumper on with a few old war wounds on it down there I've got lighting for one side of my face I might splash out in future and get lighting for both sides It's time to look at a whole new can of beans Last time out we looked at the Corral bean from Aldi Did very well from memory serves It got around a 7 out of 10 I told myself if that video got to 180 views I would do another one. Been surprised it's only taken five or six months but here we are. Today the whole new can of beans is the Asda Bake Bean. There we are, something like that. It is the reduced salt option, nice snazzy tin. Um, before we get onto that I should mention some of the great feedback for the first video. Seems to be a bit of a theme, which was mainly how often you talk about beans for 16 minutes. So let's make this one a little bit snappier. With that in mind, let's have a look at the tin. I always like to start with that. Look at the branding, nice strong red and blue branding. It has got the uh, sort of pull top there. So, you know, that is a classy design feature. I don't think bean design goes much beyond that. No one's made a voice activated can or anything yet. Um, it's a nice glossy paper. I'm doing this at my work desk, which is a strange place to be eating beans. Um, but you know, I am working. Not sure if you're able to see this, but the can actually has some sort of writing. Oh, there you go, maybe you can see that. Some sort of writing on the red bit of the label. It says things like, um, makes, makes your spud good, quick and easy peasy make the most of your toast. I mean, clearly it's been written by an idiot, but it's a nice touch to put in that sort of that subtle writing there. It's one of your five a day if you eat half a can. Most beans are nowadays. Nice picture of beans as you'd expect. Reduced salt. Not really much more to say about the front. 410 grams. Probably got a noise there of a notification. Might be another subscriber to one of my many bean channels. Um, the rest of the can, you've got your energy information, mostly greens, still uh, an orangey colour for salt, so, and that's with it being reduced salt, so, you know, those full salt bad boys are pure red, which wouldn't actually show up in this tin. There you go, interesting little design feature. Um, round the back, we have got our ingredients information, as you would expect. I love to look at the beans, tomato to tin weight ratio, as it's known in the trade. This is 50% beans, 37% tomato, that makes it 87%, easy maths there. Um, I think probably my eight year old could do that. Six year old might struggle a bit, but the eight year old could definitely do that. 87% ratio, that is superb. This is a bean with both your paprika extract and also the pure form paprika in there, so it should be a bean with a real kick to it. Heating instructions, this doesn't vary greatly from bean to bean. Um, moderate three to four minutes, moderate heat that is, on the hob, uh, stir, stir before serving and during, uh, do not boil, that's standard. Microwave is giving you the instructions for the 700 watts, four minutes, 900 watts, two and a half minutes. So that seems an overly big reduction for just the 200 watts difference. So I, I'd be worried that either the 700 watt beans is going to come out slightly burnt or the 900 watt maybe a little bit underdone. Um, good if you like your bean al dente, I suppose. Empty cup, I mean, you should probably, most people by now know how to operate a microwave and not to just put the tin in and press buttons and hope by some magic beans come out. Uh, but yeah, you empty them into a bowl, etc., etc., remove cover and all that. Uh, empty contents into a microwavable container, cover and vent, heat on full power, etc. Check product is piping hot before serving. Do not reheat. There you go. I think, have we already done this bit? Or has this tin got four sides to it? I don't, I don't know. How many sides does a tin have? Is it one or is it infinite? One for all you maths buffins out there. Um, if you're not 100% happy with me, you can return it. That is the tin, not me personally. You can't return me, I'm afraid. You can just stop watching, but please don't do that. Um, yeah, you can send it, but uh, I imagine you take it into, yeah, you return it to store, it says, you don't put it in an envelope and send it in a post, no one wants that. Not only will they 
replace it they will also refund you now this came out of a four pack i think it was about 79p for four so you're going to get another can and you're also going to get the best part of 20 pence back which in these tough times that is not to be sniffed at um it's produced in the uk for leeds not oh yeah and the bottom of the tin there's no way that will show up but oh maybe it will well uh, i can't really tell yeah possibly yeah so it's got your expiry date October 2020, these are well in date still. Um, the time on it, I'm always interested in the batch time. It's 5.36. As with the Corral Bean, it's a slight concern. It's that worrying in between shift sort of time, you know. Nine to five's finished, five to midnight, one in the morning, five to one in the morning. That shift has just got going, but is there a bit of chat, bit of beans, banter, and has this tin snuck through while backs were turned? It'll be interesting to see what's inside. Is it beans? With the corral bean, I was worried there might be a dead rat or something inside. That wasn't the case. It was pure beans and juice, but, you know, let's see. Okay, I think that is enough on the tin for today. That's still been seven and a half minutes, but I think we'll keep below the 16 minute threshold today. Maybe get it down to 15 minutes, minute less per video. That will be a good thing to aim for. Next, we will open these up, try the cold bean and also try the hot bean. I've got another message. This channel is going to explode. Okay, gonna try the. Oh, I'm really good at angling things to the camera. Gonna try the cold beans now. It's still the Asda tin, probably giving some annoying background noise there for no reason. Uh, just gonna be quick on this because not, you know, they're not designed to be eaten cold only by students really. Um, so let's see. Mm. There's no flavour there, um, so be interesting to see what happens when we heat it up. But yeah, disappointing. Let's see if my cheap microwave from Dunelm can work magic and somehow insert a whole lot of flavour into these beans. Okay, we've just heated the beans. You can see them in shot there. Went for the microwave approach. It was 700 watt microwave, four minutes stirring halfway through. On toast today, which you might have seen, so that is, I don't know, maybe it's an unfair comparison with the Aldi beans, which was just eaten as a pure bean, but, you know, it's my my bean eating, my rules. If Aldi wants to complain, they can send it in, in writing or put it in the comments. Right, let's see what these are like. I'm excited to see. Mm. Well, first thing to note is that the heating is spot on. Um, you know, I've probably let them cool down for about 30 seconds, but very good temperature. Um, it's also a good toast. It's a Kings Mill 50-50, best of both in case you're interested. Medium, one is large, but it's all we had in. Annoyingly, excuse me, it was the last two slices, so I will have to go to the shops later to get more bread for the boys' pack lunches, but if I go to Sainsbury's, I can maybe combine it with getting in some different beans for future videos. So it will be a trip well worth making. With beans themselves, mm, first mouthful, not great to be honest. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, what can we say about these? They don't seem to hold their heat particularly well. They're already cooling down a bit. Any scientists among you, I'd be interested to know why. It had about 37% juice, if I remember, tomato juice, maybe that sounds reasonable. Is, is that a factor? Does the liquid either keep temperature or lose temperature? I, I don't know. Um, whatever it is, I haven't kept their temperature as well as the Aldi beans. But also, <coughs> there's a lot of sort of bits of skin coming off, so it's quite unpleasant towards the back of your mouth. I'm getting bean skin stuck in my throat, which is never a particularly pleasant experience. The taste is also bang average, I'd have to say. Um, it's got paprika and paprika extract, but I, I'm struggling to taste any any sort of kick to these beans at all. I wish I'd poured something in, maybe a bit of chili powder or something. Um, you know, I've done this for my lunch. I'm quite disappointed after two mouthfuls, really not fancying a whole lot more. So I have to say, as to your four pack of reduced salt beans, also reduced flavour it seems to be, and maybe you've replaced the salt with extra bean skin. 
I'm going to be, what do we give the Audi? Is it 7 out of 10 if memory serves? These are nowhere near that quality. The extra skill of a German engineer and I think has shone through with the Audi beans. So for these, I really can't go above a 3. So 3 it is, which is an interesting number to choose for someone who can't say his TH is particularly well. So I wish I'd gone for 2 now. But anyway, 3 it is, as to bean, 3 out of 10, bottom of the leaderboard. Long may it stay though, I say, because if anything supplants it, I'm going to be tasting more shit beans. Okay. One thing I forgot to say, please let me know what I should open next in the comments. Admittedly, I ignored the comments last time, that's because people were posting crazy shit like open just roll puff pastry or something, you know, this is meant to be about opening tins. If you've got an idea for a tin I can open, then leave it in the comments and I will get round to it. I will make the next video once this one has got to an arbitrary 207 views. So we're probably looking 2020 sort of time. Okay.